This tutorial will demonstrate how to identify and find a scholarly article based on empirical research. First, let's discuss what we mean by empirical research. Empirical research is that which generates data derived from actual observation or experimentation. This could be a lab experiment, for example, or it could be the results of pre and post tests of research participants exposed to political advertising. Or it could be the observation of nonverbal behaviors of college students in specific situations. Articles that report on empirical research share some common elements. Once you can ident identify these common elements, you will be able to determine if a journal article is empirical research or not. Keep in mind that articles may vary somewhat in format and terminology. Let's look at the components of an empirical research article. Authors will be named, and information on their institutional affiliations and credentials will be included. An abstract. At the beginning of the article is a brief summary describing the article and the research study. An introduction or a literature review. The article will include a statement of the hypothesis and an examination of existing research on the topic. Sometimes these sections will be divided into separate sections. The method or methodology. This section is a description of how the research study was conducted and it is essential in an empirical research article. It will include details on how the study was designed, who participated in the study, what they did, and how outcomes were measured. The results or findings. This section describes the outcomes of the study. Discussion or conclusion. An, art an article may include one or both of these sections. Here, the results and implications of the study are interpreted and discussed. Areas for further research may also be included. References or bibliography. The article will conclude with a listing of all the sources cited in this article. Empirical articles are published in scholarly or academic journals designed to be read by experts, researchers, or students in a particular field. Unlike a lot of popular magazines that many of us are familiar with, scholarly journals are written at a level that assumes some prior knowledge in the field. They tend to be less glossy, colorful, or graphic intensive than popular magazines. The graphics they do contain tend to be graphs and charts rather than colorful pictures or advertisements. The articles tend to be longer, often from 10 to 30 or 40 pages. Scholarly journals that contain empirical articles are usually peer-reviewed or refereed. This means that the articles undergo a review process by a board of experts in the field, peers, if you will, before they can be published. This board serves to ensure that the research is sound and that the article is a valuable contribution to the body of knowledge in a particular field. Now that we know what an empirical article is and what it looks like, let's go find some. I'm starting from the McIntyre Library homepage. From here, I will click on Databases by Topic to find the databases best suited to finding articles in a particular subject area. Keep in mind that depending on your research interest, there may be several relevant subject areas. For example, if I'm doing research on a question related to political advertising, I may find pertinent information in the communication and journalism databases, or in the marketing databases, um, the political science databases, uh, or even the psychology databases. Let's look in the communication and journalism databases for this example. Once we get there, we see a list of the databases that are best for searching in the area of communication and journalism. And I could search several of them together by typing my search terms in this search box. We'll go ahead and type in political advertising and go. Notice that our results come from a wide range of publications newspapers, magazines. Um, these may be fine and interesting articles, but they are not empirical studies. 
To narrow our search results, let's edit our search to include a word likely to appear in an empirical study. So we can use some of the words that we just reviewed as parts of an empirical study article. Um, that might be something like the word study, or findings, or survey, or experiment, or this is the one I usually start with, methodology. We know that empirical articles discuss their methods or methodology, so oftentimes that word is included somewhere in the description of the article. So let's try it again. This time, as we look at our results, we see that more of our results are indicated as being peer-reviewed, which we discussed. Um, there may or may not be full text available. When we see an article that looks interesting to us, we can click on that full text link to open the article. Sometimes it will take a couple of clicks to actually get to the full text article. You see here it says full text available via another database. Click on that. And it's connecting us to the database that has that article online. And again, I look for that full text link and open it. Okay, and here's our article. As we scroll through this article, we begin to see those sections of the article that we recognize as being empirical studies. The abstract, scroll down a little bit. There's the methodology, results, and so on. And then at the end, we see that list of references. So we found an empirical article. OK, I'm back at the McIntyre Library homepage. I want to show you one more example of how to find an empirical article. Some databases offer special search features to find empirical studies. To use these special features, you have to search a database independently rather than collectively with the other databases as we did in the first example. Okay, so for example, we're going to start out again the same way, go into databases by topic. And this time we're going to go into the psychology databases. These are good sources of information for uh, getting information on how and why people behave in certain ways. So we might find some good articles on political advertising here. This time, rather than searching in this box and searching several databases together, we're going to search a single database. PsychInfo is a particularly good one. So I'm going to click right on the title of that database. And it takes me directly to the PsychInfo database. As we look at this screen, we see that it offers myriad ways to refine a search. Everything from um, publication dates to publication types uh, to audiences. Uh, if we look under uh, methodology down here, we see that we can limit our search by the type of methodology. One of our options here is an empirical study. And in fact, they even subdivide that if we wanted to get more sp specific. But if I click on empirical study, that's going to limit my search to those kinds of articles that report on empirical studies. Once again, I can type in my search terms. Typing in political advertising again and search. And you'll see again, we come up with uh, results. And these are probably going to be pretty focused and uh, pretty likely that they're going to be empirical studies for us. So we look at one of these articles. Uh, we see a full text link here. Click on it. And once again, we open that article and we can look for those familiar components of an empirical study article. So there you have a couple of strategies for finding empirical research articles. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to contact the McIntyre Library Reference Desk.